everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nikki and in today's video I want to talk about my backdrop and backgrounds that I use for my flat lay pictures so I did have a lot of questions and I really want to share with you where I got my backdrops and a really easy DIY for flat lay pictures if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing if you want to see more of these DIY tips videos I will have the link to the products as well as my social media down in the description box so feel free to check that out anytime throughout the video and without further ado let's get on to the DIY the backdrops I'm using are from Pacon. I chose the four assorted wood designs. They are 4 feet by 12 feet and are printed on paper to minimize the light reflection. They are an affordable price and easy to use with lots of prints to choose from. All you need for this DIY is foam poster board, a ruler, spray adhesive, and an X-Acto knife or blade. Pretty self-explanatory, but place the poster board over the paper, putting it in the corner to reduce waste, and use the ruler as a guide to cut along the edges. Also, here's a tip for you. I just learned this, but if you go to the craft store to get your poster board, you can ask them to get a custom cut foam board in whatever size that you want. Once that's cut, start with a small section and add some adhesive. Place the paper to match up as perfectly as you can. This spray adhesive is very sticky, but it's tacky enough to where you can pull it off and adjust it if needed. Add more adhesive to the rest of the board and use the ruler to smooth out the paper until the very end. Repeat this with your other backdrops. I use both sides of the board so I have four prints total. The foam board makes them more durable and easy to pull out whenever you need them without having to unroll anything. Make sure to store them in a cool and dry place to prevent them from peeling. These backdrops are printed with fade resistant ink so they should last you a very long time. When it comes time to take your flat lays, natural light works best. Find some props to go with your personal aesthetics such as plants, small accessories, or different textured fabrics. Start by placing your main subject first and adding the props around. A nice flat lay has some accessories on the edges as well as around the object. Use square mode to take the pictures or prop it later. Three lucky winners will win a customized set of four backdrops of their choosing. See the description box for details and thank you Pacon for this generous giveaway. Hey, Jenna. Say hi. Hi. Bye. 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 So I hope you enjoyed that simple DIY and try it yourself. I will have the links down below to the products that you need as well as the website where I got my backdrops. Thank you guys as always for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more DIYs and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!